This episode is brought to you by Cisco Educational Premium. Substituting, substituting into the term derivative of 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 rho, we obtain this bunch of equations. The replication operators, del square in the above result, suggests that the right hand side is the divergence of j. And the reverse order of terms implies that this is the negative of j altogether. This is shown. So the continued equation is partial rho on partial t is equivalent to negative del dot j, which is partial p on partial t plus del dot j is equivalent to zero. The integral form follows as for the gen of the, as for the general equation. The total current flow in the semiconductor consists of drift current and division current of both the electrons in the conduction band and the holes in the Fallon band. General form for electrons in one dimension is shown, where n is the local concentration of electrons. Mu n is the electron mobility, is the electric field across the deposition region. D n is the division coefficient for electrons. G n is the rate of generation of electrons. R n is the rate of recombination of electrons. And similar for holes, we have the equation where p is the local concentration of holes. Mu p is the hole mobility is the electric field across the depletion region dp is the division coefficient for holes gp is the rate of generation of holes rp is the rate of recombination of holes consider the fact that the number of electrons is conserved across the volume of semiconductor material with cross-sectional area a and length dx across the x-axis more precisely one can say rate of change of electron density is equivalent to electron flux in minus electron flux out plus net generation inside a volume and can be represented mathematically as shown. Here J denotes the current density whose direction is against electron flow by convention due to the electron flow within the constant volume of the semiconductor. This is also called electron current density. Total electron current density is the sum of drift current and division current densities shown. Therefore, we obtain the equation as shown. Applying the product rule results in this final expression. The key to solving these equations in real devices is whenever possible. To select, re to select regions in which most of the mechanisms are negligible so that the equation reduced to a much simp simpler form. The notation and tools for special relativity, especially for vectors and for gradients, offer a convenient way to write any continuity equation. The density of a quantity rho and its current j can be combined into a four factor called four current. Where C is the speed of light, the diversion of this current is shown. Where partial mu is the four gradient and mu is an index labeling the space time dimension. Then the continuity equation is partial mu j mu is equal to zero. In the usual case where there are no sources or sinks, that is for perfectly conserved quantities like energy or charge. This continuity equation is manifestly, obviously, Lorentz invariant. Example of continuity equations often written in this form include electric charge conservation, where J is the electric flow current and energy momentum conservation where t is a stress energy tensor 
In general relativity where space time is curved, the continuity equation, the diversion form for energy, charge and other conserved quantities involve covariant divergence instead of ordinary divergence. For example, the, st the stress energy tensor is a second order tensor field containing energy momentum densities, energy moment momentum fluxes and shear stresses for mass energy distribution. The differential form of energy momentum conservation in general relativity states that the convariant divergence of the stress energy tensor is zero. This is an important constraint on the form the Einstein field equation take in general relativity. However, the ordinary divergence of the stress energy tensor does not necessarily vanish as shown. The right hand side strictly furnishes for flat geometry only. As a consequence, the integral form of the continuity equation is difficult to define and not necessarily valid for a region with, within which space time is significantly curved, e.g., e around a black hole or across the whole universe. Quarks and gluons have color change which is always conserved like electric charge and there is a continued equation for such color charge currents. Explicit expression for currents are given at gluon field strength tensor. There are many other quantities in particle physics which are often or always conserved. Baryon number, a proportion of the number of quarks minus the number of anti-quarks. Electron number, mu number, tau number, isospin, among others. Each of these has a corresponding continuity equation, possibly including a source sink terms. One reason the conservation equations frequently occur in physics is the Nithas theorem. This states that whenever the laws of physics have a continuous symmetry, there is a continuity equation for some conserved physical quantity. The three most famous examples are 1. The laws of physics are invariant with respect to time translation. For example, the laws of physics today are the same as they were yesterday. This symmetry leads to the continuity equation for conservation of energy. 2. The laws of physics are invariant with respect to space translation. For example, the laws of physics in Kenya are the same as the laws of physics in Australia. This symmetry leads to the continuity equation for conservation of momentum. 3. The laws of physics are invariant with respect to orientation. For example, floating in outer space, there is no measurement you can say you can do to say which way is up. The laws of physics are the same regardless of how you are oriented. This symmetry leads to the continuity equation for conservation of angular momentum. Physical educational premium is a section of physical educationals with content that is not hosted here. There are episodes ranging from long to short videos. Remember those good old shots of ours? They are there. So do we get there? Use the link on screen or in the description or in the pinned comment below. Enjoy yourself. Now we'll see you in the next episode of Cisco Educationals.